What up YouTube, I'm your boy J2 and welcome back to some factions guys. Today is just me by myself and finally got the webcam back. My bad, it's been a couple days since I've had it, but it's back. Hey, yeah, I, I don't know if you're excited about that or not. I'm really not too excited, but anyway. <laughs> anyway guys, I wanted to go ahead and show you the base so far. A lot of things have happened on the inside of the base that I haven't been able to show you. And I want to show you some things that some of the faction members have like worked to get to as well. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and basically show you. This is our lobby here now for the faction, which I think you guys might have seen. I'm not really sure to be 100% honest with you, but we have enchanting table now. We have our uh, like enchanting table and enchant uh, area. We have, you know, basically all of our like crap is in there. It's not really anything too nice, promise. It's just like stupid seeds and stuff. And then we have, of course, uh, the different uh, seeds and stuff, or not the seeds, excuse me, the different farms that we've, I think I've already showed this, of course, when we first did this, but we have the different farms here um, going all the way up. So we got the wheat farm, and now we got the sugarcane farm, which you guys have seen these as well, because I remember showing you these, and I also remember showing you the cactus farm, which I wonder if it's actually, oh, people still must be doing this. Now they've changed things up a little bit, I don't know who the hell did, but they've decided to do a whole bunch of nether wart instead of the pumpkins and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, they, they did that instead of the pumpkins, which I, I don't really care to be honest, but now we have a whole bunch of nether wheat uh, farms going on here to make potions and all that good stuff, whatever we need to, to raid, war zone, all that good stuff. But now we're gonna go to the top part because we talked about this a while ago and never really did it. Um, so let me go ahead and show you so far what we've gotten here. So now we have the zombie and skeleton spawner, which is right here, which we built together. And then we have over here is the cave spider spawners that we built together. Now, the cave spiders have, of course, like it's, it's evolved. Like that's completely done. There's uh, what? Two, four, six, two, four, six. Hold on. There's one, two, three, six. I think I want to say nine. So there's like 18. I want to say 18 spawners in there. Um, I, I want to say 18 spawner, cave spider spawners in there. There's only, I think we're... Only two uh, skeleton, but we have a couple of zombie spawners in there. I don't remember exactly the number. And now we also have a blaze spawner, which is built the same way as all the other spawners. I know you can do this a whole lot better, but it still works out the same thing. I think there's like two spawners in here, I want to say, uh, pretty much. And then we have our cow spawner. Well, we got a pig spawner. I just laid it down here just to get the pigs. But we also have a cow spawner that is now automated. Only thing that I'm actually having a problem with this is... Where it do see that's the problem. It's automated, but for some reason it shoots out instead of going into the hopper. It shoots out sometimes. It just shoots onto the floor. So sometimes we got stuff and sometimes we don't, which kind of sucks. But let me go ahead and show you. I wonder if I could. Is it gonna teleport me, please? Probably not. It probably didn't work at all there. I think there's wood in here. Yep, there's wood in here. Uh, let's go ahead and use the wood and just climb up here so I can go ahead and show you what fire and I did up here with this. So the blaze spawners, guys, was actually bought by the first blaze spawner that we did buy uh, or did get for the 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 um, for the faction was um, was was basically gifted to us by Trip. Official Triple has been playing the auction house. I'm going to show you some other things that he's done to make money. Um, well, I'll let you know what he's done to make money. I'm not going to tell you exactly how he's done it, but yeah, I'll show you the other stuff that he's bought, but his first contribution to the faction, well, not first, but main big one was that blaze spawner, which, um, it is, it gets a whole bunch of XP blaze rods, makes us some money, but right inside of here, guys, we have a, um, a cow. This is our cow, uh, spawner, which basically automates it. As you guys can see, there's basically sticky, sticky pistons underneath, um, well, there are sticky pistons right there uh, at that block there. So basically what happens when the cow spawns, which are right in there where you see that little bit of smoke, cow spawners, uh, one cow spawner is underneath that repeater. So when the cow spawns up, it hits uh, the piston or, or excuse me, the pressure plate uh, hits the repeater, you know, lights the repeater up. The repeater then sh uh, makes the, the piston shoot out and it pushes the cow to the water stream. Water stream then pushes all the way through here, of course, and then you fall down there to your death. That's basically what happens and how it works. The only thing is it's not that efficient because we only have one spawner right now. There it is. And he got he got stuck. Yeah, he actually got stuck. Well, that's how it's done. But basically, it's supposed to work like that. It pushes him to the center there, and then he eventually gets pushed down. But like I said, there's only one spawner there, so that's why it's so damn slow. Right, so this is basically our spawner room 
well, most of the spawner room anyway, for now. We're gonna get a lot more stuff and I'm gonna show you exactly how and I'm getting achievements to get wood now, are you kidding me? Yeah, uh, I've definitely gotten wood a lot more than just that. But anyway, uh, these are the spawners that are set up here. So cow, spider, zombie, blaze, pig, well, that's not automated, but still pig and, and um, skeleton. So we got a lot of them. Uh, ones that we still need to set up. And this is, I was actually amazed that he was able to do this. And this was Trip that actually got these spawners. I know a lot of other people have helped get um, an extra blaze spawner and things like that. And, and have helped put money together so we could buy stuff like making the 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 base the way it is and we're going to talk a little bit more about the base here in a little bit i promise um but yeah so um have helped a lot but but trip has done some amazing stuff with just playing the auction house game buying and selling on the auction house he's done some amazing stuff let me go ahead and show you really quick what i mean by amazing so my vault here i have some spawners i have some spawners i'm gonna let you know what spawners are actually mine and the rest were all purchased by by triple official triple and he's the one that gave them to me to hold on to so and then we can set these stuff up in the base. All right, let me go ahead and see right here. Zombie spawner was mine. I got that, I think, mining or something, right? Easy, zombie spawner. You come across these all the time. Chicken spawner was purchased by him. I don't know how much he paid for these. He just came up to me. He's like, yo, got a spawner. Here you go, boss. Like, every day I get on, he's like, yo, I got something new for you. Uh, chicken spawner. We still got to set that up as well. So we got a chicken spawner as well to set up for the faction. We also now have a creeper spawner, which we need to set up because of the gunpowder, make TNT, just make things free basically for us. And, and creepers are just good to have. You know what I mean? XP. All, well, not really XP. Just just the, the gunpowder really is all I want. We have an Enderman spawner. All these were purchased by Fischl. Official Triple is the one that purchased all these spawners. We got an Enderman spawner as well. So creeper, Enderman, and... Yeah, we need to set these things up. And this is why I have Obsidian here. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. And then we have an Iron Golem. He has made over a milli already in, in the first, I want to say, week of playing the game. In the first week of playing the game. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe it's been more than a week. He's made over a milli. And he's purchased a, an Iron Golem uh, uh, spawner to help the faction out. To make us more money. And to help him, of course, out to make himself more money. Like, just playing the auction house, guys. Buying and selling on the auction house. He sits here, finds deals, buys some cheaps, resells. He's made over, like, millions. Millions on the auction house. It's insane the amount of money that he makes on the auction house. And, and that's the game he's playing is the auction house game. He's buying and selling, man. He's trading like a boss. And he's bought in all these spawners to help us out to start making more money and to help us grow and have the funds to do other things like raiding uh, and all that good stuff and so we can start getting good gear. You know what I mean? It, it's helped out. Oh, oh, don't get it twisted. He also also did purchase the enchanted creeper egg off the auction house as well. So all this here, except for the, I don't know who the hell got the nether star. I found it somewhere in the base. I, I thought it was pretty, so I stole it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, all this stuff was, was, was trip, man. All this right here was trip except for the zombie. The chicken was hidden. Yeah, all these were him. Uh, crazy right it's crazy now don't get it twisted everybody else has contributed and has helped uh, out tremendously with the cave spiders the normal spiders zombies and everything else getting going but it, it's insane the amount and the only thing that i'm astonished is the amount of money that he's made so quickly just playing the hot auction house game honestly is is basically why i'm like whoa you know he's you can make money pretty quickly yo why does it keep doing that go into the hopper damn it i'm gonna have to work on this automated thing because it's not really working out that well and it's stuck in here why who was Somebody was playing with the hopper. Somebody was playing with the hopper. And that is a problem. Let's stick that there, please. That's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to go into here. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and show you um, some other stuff that we've done to the base. Um, we've done to the base, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go. What is it? I think I set it to home. Um, I think. Let's teleport. It should put us on top of the base here. It should put us on top of the base. I could be 110% wrong about this. I'm not. We're on top of the base. We are now on top of the base, as you guys can see. And Fire has gone ahead and taught me a little bit about doing pancaking, he called it. So we put some more protection in for this. So now we also have protection. We now have water protection going all the way around. We have the region walls. We have the water protection. Now we have the pancaked on 
the pancake on top of the base, uh, basically with more water protection. And now is the thing that I'm about to start and what we're gonna start doing here today is this. We are going to extend this base. As you guys can see, our base is layering pretty nicely, but there's a couple things that I wanna do for the faction. First off, I wanna have every faction member have its own um, room, basically. Actually, you know what, let me grab some wood here real quick and see if I can get started with this. I need this to go at this height here here right yes oh, it's gonna be one block above right there so yes right there is where I want it so this is what we're gonna be doing we are going to like I said I want to make a rooms for every faction member so 25 rooms yo my mouse just got stuck why all right guys my, my bad my mouse got stuck for a reason it, it was going down um so uh, basically guys what uh, I want to do is have we have 25 members in the faction right now and I want to give every member a space so they can actually like just TP in like cells basically they can just TP in drop off their their valuables and have it in a safe spot in the base without like worrying about anybody else you know taking it or selling it or whatever they just have their own basically room just like any other guild would have in any other MMO type thing right um, so basically what I'm going to do is that now let me think about this because i might be screwing this up because if this wall is here and that's the region wall ooh, that means hold on i have to think about it i think the base is here oh man this could be bad this could actually be bad actually it could yes i'm messing up here because this is where it would have to be because that's the outer walls isn't it because this would be base Oh man, region walls are here. Let me think about this. Uh, that's that. This wall's here. That means that there's lava here, region wall, and then this is the obsidian wall right here. So the actual base is going to be right here on the inside of that and bring it out to there. Yes, again, I have to make sure that I'm doing this right because we're gonna stack this all the way up and I have to get the right measurements here. So. Uh, outer wall, lava, region, or cobble, obsidian wall, right here. Okay, good. So now I just remove this, and then we should be able to build upwards from there. I think I have this right. This is going to take ages. This is going to take ages. Nope, it didn't. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. I also wanted to go, go ahead and show you guys a place that I have for mining. It's just basically a little strip mine that we have set up. Um, well, some of us in the faction have set up where we go and just mine as well. I haven't done too much mining. Actually, I can go ahead and show you my stats so far. Not too much mining. Um, my mining's at 107. It's not that that much. Um, my axing's pretty high. And that's pretty much it for like skill base. Like I've done a little bit of mining, a lot of a little bit of herbalism, like you know, with the crops and stuff, but I haven't done too much mining, but I'm going to get to it shortly, I promise. So uh, that lava wall, inner wall, done. Yes, I think I'm doing this a hundred percent wrong, but I will do this and then before I stick up the walls going upwards, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go down and count everything because I wanted to stay exactly the same. So basically, guys, like I was trying to explain, we're going to make rooms in this upper part. So basically, what's going to happen from that platform here that I'm making, the only way to get into this base is going to be able to TP in. And once you TP in, there's no way out unless you TP out. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a, a safer thing. And it's going to go from this height here, which I can't show you the coordinates or the height, but it's like, I want to say 177, 178. It's going to go all the way to 256 in height. So I have a lot to build, a lot to do, um, but it's going to help us, you know, get the iron golems in here as well because it's in a safer area. Iron golems, creeper uh, farms and stuff in up on this upper part instead of being at the bottom part. And also uh, we get everybody's little room that I want to set up for them. And, and you know what I mean? So, yeah, have a lot to do yet still. So one, two, three, and then it should be here. I hope I'm doing the math right. But anyway, guys, I'm going to continue filling this in here. And then I think, yeah, I'm going to check and make sure that everything is right on the numbers. I'll be back. All right, guys, ran out of obsidian that I had on me. I went and bought some more, but I've got up pretty high already, and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see if I can get some of the faction members to either help me a little bit later or, you know, when everybody gets it on, I'll, I'll let them know to help me out here because we're going to have to do regular walls here, region walls going from the bottom all the way to the top, and right there, guys, right up there is build height. That's 255, uh, so we can't build any higher than that. So that's where this base is going to go all the way up, and then inside of here, we're going to have different rooms uh, for every member. 
so they'll be able to TP in directly into that. And also, we are going to um, we are also going to have the Iron Golems and all that good stuff. Iron Golems, Creeper, Enderman, all that good stuff up on the higher tier. So that way, cannons, you know, we, we can be a little bit more protected the higher we go, right? And that way, you know, they can't get in from the top part because basically, build height doesn't work. Cannons. Yeah, you guys, you guys know how it is. You guys have been playing this for a while, but that's where we're basically at right now. I wonder if I jump from here for all that. Probably not. Um, but we have a long way to go. A lot of obsidian is going to be wasted. Um, another thing is, too, I don't want to waste any money because one of the uh, other members, Adam, uh, has a whole bunch of obsidian from the last time we started building up inside of his vault, which I need to get so we can keep building up. But that's, guys, that's the base so far. Um, I know it wasn't too exciting today, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a view or a a tour of the base so far, the spawners that we have it in, the spawners that are going to be coming into it, the protection that we have. I don't know if it's a safe thing or a good thing of me talking about the different protections that we have and the different things that we have inside of our, our spawner, or not spawner, excuse me, our base. Uh, but I do want to show you, I, I do want to show it off a little bit. I'm super excited and super happy how far we've gotten in the short amount of time that we've been all playing together. Um, Again, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I say this almost every episode. As soon as people start seeing people are away for a certain amount of time, I haven't decided on how long that certain amount of time is without being active in the faction. I will be removing those players and putting uh, new members in that do play more or are going to be more active, of course. But everybody's mostly been on. There's a couple people here and there, but those are reasons that I already know why they haven't been on. So um, anyway, guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Factions uh, series. And if you guys are, make sure to smash a like. Also, subscribe if you're new to my channel and you enjoy Minecraft. And guys, if you have any suggestions for um, for the series or for any other series on my channel, please leave it down below. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for all your support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces, baby. <laughs>